bioluminescence is a natural phenomenon in which an organism produces its own light. A number of different functions have been proposed for the 40 or so independent origins of bioluminescence across the tree of life. For example, prey attraction, mate recognition, camouflage, and warning coloration. Millipedes in the genus Motixia, only found from California, produce a greenish-blue light at a wavelength of 495 nanometers. These detritivores are chemically defended with cyanide that they produce internally and eject from glands on the sides of their bodies. Motixia are blind and thereby provide an ideal opportunity to investigate the ecological significance of bioluminescence, since their emitted light is only viewed by other organisms, for example, their predators. Detailed studies have been made of the biochemical mechanisms underlying Motixia's bioluminescence. In contrast, the adaptive significance of bioluminescence remained unknown. In this issue of Current Biology, we show that bioluminescence has a single evolutionary origin in millipedes, and that their emitted light serves as an aposematic warning signal to deter nocturnal mammalian predators. Contrary to the intuitive expectation that bioluminescence might attract predators, we found in our experimental approach that bioluminescence deters predation attempts. Among the numerous examples of bioluminescence, this is the first field experiment to show that bioluminescence acts as an aposematic warning signal. Using both nuclear and mitochondrial DNA sequence data, we inferred the evolutionary history of the genus Motixia and their close relatives. In our phylogenetic analysis, we included described species of Motixia as well as representatives of all other genera also classified in the tribe Zystoparini and several species from related tribes found in the western United States. We found that the monophyly of Motixia is strongly supported by the molecular data, which indicates that bioluminescence had a single evolutionary origin in millipedes. There are approximately 12,000 described species of millipedes worldwide, but only eight species found only in California have the remarkable ability to emit light. In field experiments, we tested the hypothesis that bioluminescence acts to deter predators. We used live and clay millipedes in field trials where Metixia naturally occur in California to test the prediction that luminescent individuals are attacked less often than non-luminescent individuals. We collected 164 living millipedes of the species Metixia sequoia from Giant Sequoia National Monument in California and painted half of them to conceal their bioluminescence. Using polymer clay, we also constructed 300 clay millipedes. Clay models were covered with the same paint, and in half, a luminescent pigment was added to the paint mixture to generate luminescence. To capture the naturally patchy distribution of indigenous predators, we distributed live and modeled millipedes into separate transects with a random distribution of luminescent and non-luminescent millipedes spaced at five meters apart. Experiments were run overnight, after which time predation marks among luminescent and non-luminescent groups were tallied and statistically analyzed to evaluate the null hypothesis of equality between treatments. As predicted, significantly more of the non-luminescent millipedes were attacked relative to the luminescent millipedes. And this is the case for both the live and the clay millipede experiments. In clay millipede experiments, we found that over twice the number of non-luminescent millipedes were preyed upon relative to luminescent millipedes. And this is also the case for the live millipede experiment. More than four times the number of non-luminescent millipedes were attacked relative to the luminescent millipedes. This unequal attack ratio between luminescent groups and non-luminescent groups is not consistent with the null hypothesis of a one-to-one -one ratio between luminescence and non-luminescence. Therefore, this supports the hypothesis that luminescence serves uh, role in deterring predators. Rodents were found to inflict most of these predation marks as a result of unique incisor impressions on the clay surface. And while surveying the experimental site, we found a number of small nocturnal rodents, for example, the southern grasshopper mouse, Onychomius tauridus. Our results demonstrate strong predatory avoidance of luminescence, results which are inconsistent with the expectation that bioluminescence would attract nocturnal predators. Therefore, our experimental evidence indicates that bioluminescence serves an aposematic warning function in deterring nocturnal mammalian predators. Bioluminescence in Motixia represents an adaptive innovation, which is particularly impressive in terms of the small geographic and evolutionary scale at which it appears to have occurred.
This research was made possible through support by a U.S. National Institutes of Health training grant to the Center for Insect Science at the University of Arizona and a U.S. National Science Foundation Phylogenetic Systematics grant to Palmeric.